Japan wants the YF-23 fighter to be revived. Although F-22 is impossible to compete with, why does the US wish to stay behind the Oriole? Reliable reports state that Japan is producing the fifth-generation stealth fighter, F-3 Mind, domestically, and intends to phase out the F-2 by 2030. This fighter jet is produced using American technology and essentially retains the YF-23 fighter jet's aerodynamic design, even better than the F-35. An enhanced fighter based on the YF-23 will feature a more compact design and superior stealth performance. What sort of fighting capability does the YF-23 possess prior to its rebirth? Both fighters are from the fifth generation. Why did Japan choose the YF-23 while giving up the F-22? The YF-23 and F-22 both had late Cold War roots. The American Air Force was perceived as being underpowered. It did not have strong combatants against the former Soviet Union under the leadership of NATO. Consequently, the Pentagon asked for the creation of a low observation fighter. It is a well-known fighter stealth. Fighter jets YF-23 and F-22 engaged in heated competition in the model campaign. After the YF-23 fighter was ultimately destroyed, the F-22 became the first fifth-generation stealth fighter to be mass-produced in the entire globe. For your reference, I will now specifically introduce the two performers' performances. The YF-23 made just two aircraft, and on August 27, 1990, it took to the skies for the first time. The aircraft measured 20.6 meters in length, 13.3 meters in wingspan, 4.3 meters in height, and 88 square meters in wing area. The weight can reach 13 tons while there is no load, 23 tons when there is a full load, and 29 tons when taking off. It can fly at an altitude of 19,800 meters, reach a top speed of Mach 2.2, and cruise at Mach 1.6. Its battle radius is between 1,380 and 1,480 kilometers. Its endurance is 4,500 kilometers, and its thrust-to-weight ratio is 1.96. It has completed 65 hours worth of testing in 50 different test flights. Only heavy fighters are now supplied by the United States, replacing the second-placed F-22 fighter jets, which were the first fifth-generation fighter jets to be mass-produced in America and had the shortest manufacturing cycles, 18.92 meters in length, 13.56 meters in wingspan, 5.08 meters in height, and 78.04 square meters in wing area. The weight can reach 19 tons while there is no load, 29 tons when there is a full load, and 38 tons when taking off. It can fly at a maximum speed of Mach 2.25, a cruising speed of Mach 1.82, and can fight at a height of 20,000 meters. Additionally, it has a battle radius of 851 kilometers, a maximum range of 3,000 to 3,220 kilometers, and a thrust-to-weight ratio of 1.08. When closely compared, the two are nearly identical in size. However, the YF-23 is lighter and more effective in terms of endurance and battle radius. The YF-23 had a reasonably basic fuselage structure and slightly greater controllability at low speeds while lacking vector nozzles, horizontal control surfaces, and afterburners. In general, the differences between the two are not great and one has advantages over the other in terms of performance. The main reason YF-23's bid was rejected is still that 22F is not as maneuverable as it should be. So why did Japan select the YF-23 rather than the F-22? It's easy to understand why. The US Congress reviewed the F-22 export prohibition at the Joint Chiefs of Staff meeting on September 27, 2006. The Department of Defense quickly made the decision to stop exporting this model, even though the U.S. Secretary of Defense declared in 2008 that he did not object to the export of this model. Congress must change the law. This legal amendment will last forever due to the bicameral government of the United States. As a result, the Japanese government has decided that the YF-23, which performs similarly to other aircraft, is the best option. How much does Japan's intellect benefit from the YF-23's aerodynamic shape? 
The Japanese X2 mine demonstrator is typically built with two engines, vector nozzles, and a body with two vertical wings. The body's rounded ammo design and uneven surface help to effectively lower the cross-sectional area of the radar reflection. On April 22, 2016, this aircraft successfully completed its first flight, marking the conclusion of the performance test phase. The F-3 fighter will be developed using the research and development findings from this test plane. The B-21 Next Generation Stealth Strategic Bomber for the U.S. Air Force and the X-47B Stealth Carrier-based aircraft for the U.S. Navy will both be produced by this company. The Japanese Ministry of Defense is a fan of the company's stealth technology and the YF-23's technological expertise is probably going to be used again in the F-3 project. Based on the circumstances at hand, this is completely feasible. Earlier, the United States and the United Kingdom received a request for information from the Japanese Ministry of Defense regarding their military aviation capabilities. Although the nation is more likely to independently develop and build new fighter kinds, they discovered that fifth-generation aircraft rely heavily on local technology. The more practical option for the research and development of new fighters is to work with global manufacturers to find solutions to the present technical issues. The Japanese Ministry of Defense is a fan of the company's stealth technology, and the YF-23's technological expertise is probably going to be used again in the F-3 project. Based on the circumstances at hand, this is completely feasible. Earlier, the United States and the United Kingdom received a request for information from the Japanese Ministry of Defense regarding their military aviation capabilities. Although the nation is more likely to independently develop and build new fighter kinds, they discovered that fifth-generation aircraft rely heavily on local technology. The more practical option for the research and development of new fighters is to work with global manufacturers to find solutions to the present technical issues. In general, Japan which lacks self-research experience, can utilize the YF-23 as a reference even if it is a test aircraft that the U.S. military abandoned. Along with the aerodynamic design, the technological features of this test model's own precipitation may also offer numerous unforeseen benefits that could aid Japan in resolving technical issues that cannot now be resolved by depending solely on domestic resources. With this, we conclude our video. We appreciate you helping us keep it going by watching. The best way to support our channel is to watch another episode. Thank you for tuning in. To ensure that you never miss an episode, please subscribe to the channel.